welcome to ENT122 or entrepreneurship. Okay, so at the end of this module, you are expected to discuss the relevance of the course, identify the different types of entrepreneurs, and then explore job opportunities as entrepreneurs. Explore job opportunities for entrepreneurship as a career. Okay, so earlier, ayan, I have uh, I introduced some of the known entrepreneurs. Okay, so yan ngay mga nabanggit ko like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, Lushutan, Socorro Ramos, Alfredo Yao, Tony Tan Kak Chong, and then Ed Garcia the second. So again, marami pa rin na pum- pumapasok into Uh, entrepreneurship or pumapasok into business even though na hindi sila nakapagtapos ang kanilang mga college degrees. Okay? And some of them uh, entered college but they choose to drop out since they grab the opportunity na nga na makapag uh, put up ng sarili nilang business. Okay? Ayan. So, let us define first or let us uh, differentiate Uh, entrepreneurship and entrepreneur. Okay? So, unahin natin yung entrepreneurship. Okay? So, entrepreneurship is the act of creating a business or businesses while building and scaling it to generate a profit. So, in short, when we say entrepreneurship, ito yung act or yung uh, mismong pag-put up natin ng sarili nating business. Yung mismong paggawa natin ng sarili nating negosyo. Okay? Then, another definition is that an important driver of economic growth and innovation. So, sinasabi nga ng entrepreneurship daw is driver of economic growth and innovation. Bakit? Kasi nga, nakakatulong yung mga entrepreneurs sa pag-grow ng economy ng isang bansa. Pansinin ninyo, nung nagka-pandemic, di ba? Ang daming nagsara na... Nung madaming nagsara na mga negosyo, bumagsak din yung economy ng bansa, di ba? So, malaki ang role ng mga entrepreneurs at different uh, businesses in the country para makatulong sa economy ng isang bansa. And then, entrepreneurship is what people do to take care, to take their career and dreams into their hands and lead it in the direction of their own choice. Okay? Di ba sabi nga karamihan pagka tinanong mo bata pa, gusto daw nila makapagtaposan ng pag-aaral. O after pa, after makatapos sa pag-aaral, ano na? Nga nga na, di ba? So, while others, lalo na pagdating sa mga, mostly sa mga Chinese, isa sa ugali nga nila na after nilang makapag-aral, ang goal nila is makapagtayo ng sarili nila ng business. Ang saan, yun yung magiging way nila for for them to achieve their uh, goals, di ba? But uh, not only uh, through this, may mga, may mga iba na gustong pumasok, ay may iba na gusto ma-achieve ang kanilang mga goals and dreams by uh, on their own, ako saan, yun yung mga mag-a-apply sa mga trabaho or what, di ba? So, but still, pagdating sa ganito, napapasok ka sa sarili mong uh, business, di ba? nasa iyo yung control. Okay? And the next is about uh, entrepreneurship is about building a life on your own terms. No bosses, no restricting schedules, and no one holds you back. Okay? Gaya nga, ba diba, last week nung kinumpare natin yung course na Business Administration and Entrepreneurship, ba? Diba? Mer- uh, kapag yung mga graduate ng Business Administration, kadalasan napupuntahan yan mga private companies. Nagiging employees, may boss, kailangan sumunod sa company rules and regulation. Unlike pag entrepreneur ka, di ba? Siyempre, nasa iyo ang control. Ikaw yung boss, walang, walang, ikaw yung magpapasunod, di ba? So, yun po yun. Pag, uh, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng entrepreneurship. Then next, let's proceed with the entrepreneur naman. So, an entrepreneur is a person who sets up a business with the aim to make a profit and creates a new business, bearing most of the risks and enjoying most of the rewards. So, again, entrepreneurship, act of creating a business, while the entrepreneur is the person who sets up a business. Okay? Naintindihan po yung difference ng dalawa, ha? The next is the term entrepreneur comes from the French word entreprende, which means to undertake. Bakit to undertake? Kasi nga, once you are an entrepreneur, nasa inyo yung control. Okay? And kaya nga, to undertake. 
ibig sabihin ng entreprende. The next is an innovator, a source of new ideas, goods, services, and business or procedures. So when you say when we say entrepreneur, isa ka raw innovator. Bakit? Kasi pansinin mo, 'di ba? Pag pumasok ka into business or gusto mo magtayo ng sarili mong negosyo, gusto mo yung produkto mo bago or something nakakaiba. Kasi once na ganun, 'di ba? Ah uh, parang mas papatok siya sa market. Mas kakagatin siya ng mga customers lalo na pagkakaiba, interest, interesting yung product or your service, 'di ba? Lalo na kung beneficial yung product or service. Tsaka pansinin ninyo, every time na merong new business na magbuboom, uh, merong innovation, may sort of innovation galing sa kung ano man yung pinaka, pinanggalingan ng product line or service. Even though yung mga sa cellphone, sa unit, di ba? Time to time, nagbabago sila, naglalabas sila ng bago na kung saan merong innovation. Okay? At iyan ay ginagawa ng mga entrepreneur. Kapag gusto nila pumasok into business or gumag-create ng mga new product, kaya kailangan innovated na yon. And then next is, playing a key role in an economy using the skills and initiative necessary to, an- to anticipate needs and bring good new ideas to market. So, yun nga, playing a key role in an economy. Bakit? Kasi nga, malaki nga na itutulong ng mga entrepreneurs sa economy ng bansa. Okay? Great contributor sila sa growth ng economy. Okay? Now, let's proceed with the types of entrepreneur. So, first one is mega entrepreneurs. So, these are the individuals who are willing to absorb huge risks of using enormous amounts of capital in their business ventures. So, when we say mega entrepreneurs, ito na yung mga malalaking entrepreneur na kung saan na meron na silang uh, mga naggumagamit na sila ng mga malalaking capital to start up their own business, okay? So, basically, karamihan sa mga mega entrepreneurs, ayan, uh, ito na yung mga asin mga mayayaman na talaga na nag-start up na sarili nilang business. O kaya naman, meron na silang, sari- meron na silang existing business at magpuput up pa ng panibago. Yan yung mga mega entrepreneurs, okay? And then, malaking risk nga ang hinaharap nila, okay? Then, next is the micro-entrepreneurs. Yan. These are the individuals who are engaged in micro or small businesses as an alternative as an alternative to formal employment. So, when we say micro-entrepreneurs, kabaliktaran lang to ni mega-entrepreneur na kung saan, ito lang yung mga small businesses. Okay? Maaring kaya sila pumasok into business dahil it's either nagsawa na sa trabaho or ayaw nang magtrabaho. Business na lang ang pinili nilang puntahan or pagkakitaan. And then, yun nga, yung mga maliliit na businesses. Yan, yan yung mga tinatawag natin na mga micro-entrepreneur. So, ano-ano ba yung mga example ng mga maliliit na businesses? Yung may mga food kiosk na ganyan, ba? Diba? ba diba, nung nag-boom ang milk tea, ba diba, ang dami na rin nagsulputang maliliit na brands ng milk tea, ba? Diba? Yan, mga small businesses yan. Nung nag-boom ang shomai noon, bukod kay Master Shomai at saka kay Shomai House, ba diba, ang dami rin nagsulputan na iba't ibang klaseng mga shomai, ba? Diba? Yan. So, yun po yung mga tinatawag natin ng mga small uh, businesses or yung mga micro-entrepreneurs. Okay? So, now, let's proceed with the importance of entrepreneurship. Ano ba ang kahalagahan nito? Okay? The first one is, entrepreneurship generates new wealth in an economy. Okay? So, gaya nga na sabi ko kanina, when we say uh, entrepreneurship, great contributor ito sa growth na economy. Okay? Once na kumikita ang negosyo, nakakatulong yun sa pag-grow uh, ng economy ng bansa. Then, the entrepreneurship decreases poverty. So, binabawasan daw net, binabawasan niya yung poverty ng isang country. Bakit? Kasi nga, may mga jobs na nakikreate. Okay? ba diba, kapag nag-put up ka na sarili mo negosyo, syempre, may, kailangan yung mga tao ka, ba? Diba? May mga empleyado ka nakikilos para sa business. Okay? And then, once na meron ka na-create na trabaho, natulungan mo yung mga walang trabaho na magkaroon ng pagkakakitaan nila. Okay? Magka- nagkaroon sila ng chance na magkaroon sila ng source of income nila. 
Then the third one is it creates opportunities, ensures social justice, instill confidence, and stimulates the economy. So, yun nga, it creates opportunities. So, gaya nga ng pagka, ayan, pagkakaroon ng mga trabaho. Ayan, so once na nabigyan na nga ng trabaho, syempre, may chance na Siyempre, magbago yung buhay ng taala na kapag may trabaho, may makaaangat siya in terms of uh, social class, di ba? Or yung uh, class level, di ba? Then, yan, instills confidence and it stimulates the economy. And then, the fourth one is entrepreneurship improves productivity. Ayan, siyempre, uh, when we say uh, entrepreneurship, marami talagang nagagawa, okay? Lalo na in terms of innovation, di ba? daming produkto talaga na nakakreate. And then the third, uh, fifth one is, yan, entrepreneurs create jobs as mentioned earlier, di ba? Kasi nga, kailangan mo na mga tao na kikilos for your business. Then entrepreneurs innovate, yan. As ganun din, gaya na nalabanggit ko kanina, di ba? You are about to innovate products. Kapag nasa business ka na, hindi ka lang naman kasi makukontento na kung ano na yung offer mo, ano na yung sineserve mo sa market, gusto mo na improve pa yung product, di ba? Not only the product, but also the service you offer for your customers. The next is, entrepreneurs create innovation and social change. Ayun na nga, almost the same lang din sa mga nauna kong pinaliwanag. And then, entrepreneurs give to society. So, paanong entrepreneurs give to society? Sabihin na natin in terms of corporate social responsibility. Di ba, maraming mga businesses na meron silang mga corporate social responsibility sa kung saan kapag halimbawang may mga calamities, di ba? na kung saan nagbibigay yung mga different private companies ang tulong doon sa mga nasasalata sabi natin ng bagyo, pagsabog ng vulkan at ng kung ano-ano pang mga natural calamities na binibigyan nila with the society. Diba? Ang CSM, si diba? Kapag nagkakaroon ng halimbawa mga bagyo, ganyan, para ino-open nila yung mga parking nila na makapag-park yung ibang mga sasakyan doon sa kanila for free. Wini-wave nila for the overnight, ba diba? Ayan. So, yan po yung sinasabing entrepreneurs give to society. Okay? Now, ano naman ngayon ang relevance nitong entrepreneurship sa inyo na mga senior high school students? As mentioned ko last week, di ba? Uh, etong subject na ito, eh, hindi lang naman to tinuturo sa inyo na mga ABM, na nagtitik na ABM or ng business-related strand. But also, tinuturo din ito sa mga other strands. either business related or not kahit STEM yan, kahit industrial arts yan, kahit na gas yan or uh, ICT yan tinitik din nila itong subject neto. So gaano nga, paano ano nga bang relevance neto? So first one is to prepare students for livelihood even before college Okay? So di ba nga sabi nga sa inyo nung bago pa i-implement itong K-12, di ba? Sabi, after daw ng Uh, grade 12, pwede na daw kayo magtrabaho. But uh, aside from that, aside from uh, having a job, you can also put up your own business. Okay? Lalo na kung nakap- nagkaroon na kayo ng idea on how to start your own business. Okay? The next one is entrepreneurship education. Aid students from all socioeconomic backgrounds to think outside the box and nurture unconventional talents and skills. Kasi with this subject, ayan, matuturuan kayo parang ma-challenge din kayo eh na mag uh, kung ano yung gusto ninyong uh, po pwede ninyong pagkakitaan di ba you will think outside the box and then through this ayan magaguide kayo kung paano ninyo masisimulan yun diyan then lalabas ninyo ibang uh, skills ninyo okay the next one is Entrepreneurship develops their initiative and helps them to be more creative and self-confident in whatever they undertake and to act in a socially responsible way. Ayan. Uh, develops uh, uh, initiative. Ayan. So, by having this course or by having this subject, ayan, kailangan na ma- lalabas dito yung creativity ninyo. Okay. And then the fourth one is it exposes students to numerous opportunities to learn how to think critically and analyze the pieces on the board. So, ayan, uh, numerous opportunities and then think critically. Uh, as uh, dito rin sa subject na ito, madidiscuss din natin. Yung iba't ibang, uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, tatlo yun, na ways ng thinking. 
isa nga dyan yung critical thinking yan, creative thinking so madidiscuss natin yan ano-ano ka ba ang klase kayo mag-isip, critical thinker ba kayo creative thinker ba kayo malalaman ninyo yan later on And then the fifth one is being aware of all the important factors and seeing how they affect each other is the foundation of a smart decision making process. So in this subject then, ayan, uh, matututunan ninyo or maiintindihan ninyo kung ano-ano nga ba yung different factors na kailangan ninyo i-consider. Okay? Maaaring relevant yan sa skills ninyo. Okay? Kung ano nga ba yung po pwede ninyo maging uh, tag dito? maging uh, dahilan kung bakit kayo magpuput up ng sarili ninyong business. Okay? So, yan po. Malalaman ninyo yan. Then, six is students must be exposed to real world examples and learn from their own experience. Ayan. Learn from your own experience. Siguro, i-connect natin to uh, somehow mag interchange or mag interconnect yung uh, subject natin with your OJT. Okay? Malalaman ninyo yan sa takdang panahon. <laughs> Next, entrepreneurship education requires students to be innovative, creative, and collabor- collaborative with others. Ayan. Bakit nga ba collaborative with others? Kasi hindi nyo naman ito gagawin mag-isa. Okay? Hindi ko naman kayo hahayaang maging uh, sole, uh, sole proprietor. Okay? Mahirap, mahirap yon, Lalo na sa sitwasyon ninyo, ba? Diba? So, kailangan merong partnership. Hindi pa naman kaya ng corporation. Partnership lang muna. Okay? Yan. So, by ha- by having your collaboration with your uh, group mates or with your classmates, ayan, lalabas na rin dyan yung pagiging uh, innovative and creative ninyo. Okay? And then, entrepreneurship education provides budding entrepreneurs with the skills and knowledge to come up with business ideas and develop their own ventures. Ayan na. Okay? Makakat, ito na nga, basta in this subject yan, lalabas yung creativity ninyo. Okay, mag-ano kayo ng uh, sarili ninyong business. So ngayon, it, it could be a guide, but it's up to you kung itutuloy ninyo or tototohanin ninyo or hindi. Okay? Now, job opportunities for entrepreneurship as a career. So ngayon, halimbawa, ayan, nagtake kayo ng uh, entrepreneurship on your college tapos hindi pa kayo ready or hindi pa kayo handa na mag-put up na sarili ninyong business so eto naman yung mga po pwede ninyong mapuntahan na trabaho in the different private companies first is business consultant or pa rin kayo mapunta sa sales research and development not for profit fundraiser teacher as well syempre tuturo ninyo mga business subjects talent recruiter. I don't know why. Bakit may ganyan dyan? <laughs> Then, next is business reporter. Ito pwede. Then, next is new venture creation. And then, career and existing entrepreneurial venture. So, yan po yung mga po pwede ninyong mapuntahan or po pwede ninyong maging trabaho if ever na hindi pa kayo ready mag-put up na sarili ninyong business. Okay? Now, Let's proceed with the reasons why many would like to become an entrepreneur. Bakit nga ba maraming gusto na maging entrepreneur? Una is yung achievement, challenge, and learning. Achievement kasi nga, uh, malaking ano yun. Kapag nag-success ang isang business, napakalaking achievement na yun para sa inyo, di ba? As well as the recognition na doon din yun. Okay? Lalo na kung kayo yung tipo ng tao na... Gusto ninyo is maraming challenge or para kayo yung risk taker. Gusto ninyo lahat may challenge yan. Uh, ito rin yun. Pupwede kayo. Gusto nyo challenge, sige, paso kayo into business. Ayan. And then learning. Meron pa rin ditong learning, di ba? Kung, mapapan- kung aware kayo sa ibang stories ng mga entrepreneurs, uh, kung hindi ako nagkakamali yung Kenny Rogers yata, Bago pa nagkaroon niya ng sarili ng ano, I mean bago siya talaga mag-boom, nakailang offer siya nung chicken niya bago siya nakilala at bago siya sumikat. Okay? So meron ding learning process in the entrepreneurship. Okay? Or as being uh, being an entrepreneur, marami ka pa ring matututunan. Lalo na kung nagfe-fail, 'di ba? At least kahit pa ulit-ulit nalalaman mo kung ano yung mga dapat mong maiwasan as an entrepreneur. Okay? The next is independence and autonomy. You can set your own goals, 
goals, pick your own partners, and face the consequences of your decision. So, independence and autonomy. Kasi nga, in, uh, being an entrepreneur, ikaw yung boss. Ikaw yung masusunod. Nasa iyo yung control. Kung magkakaroon ka, that's for uh, sole uh, entrepreneurship. But for partnership, syempre, you will have your partners na magde-decide rin for the business. Okay? And then, ayan, you have to face the consequences of your decisions. Okay? Then, third one is income security and financial success. So, kaya yung iba, gustong pumasok into business, syempre gustong umaman, di ba? Lalo na kapag, uh, di ba, may mga lalapit sa inyo, open-minded ka ba, ganyan, yayayain ka magkape, di ba? <laughs> Yan. So, aside aside from that, di ba, kaya pumapasok into business yung iba. Kasi gusto nila magkaroon ng financial stability. Lalo na pag successful ang business, di ba? Pag successful lang negosyo mo, kahit nakaupo ka na lang sa bahay ninyo, pasok na lang ng pasok ng pasok yung pera. Yung tinatawag natin na financial success or yung income security or in other term, financial stability. Kasi nga, stable ka na pagdating sa pera. Once successful yung business mo or yung negosyo mo, di ba? Tuloy-tuloy na yun. Pasok na lang ng pasok yung pera kahit nakaupo ka sa inyo, di ba? And then next is recognition and status. So recognition syempre once na successful ang business mo, marirecognize ka, 'di ba? Pansinin niyo yung mga nabanggit nating entrepreneurs earlier, 'di ba? 'Yan. Uh, highly recognize sila kasi nga successful sila. And then yung status, syempre mas mapapaigi mo yung uh, tag dito, uh, social uh, ano mo, tag dito, yung social status mo, 'di ba? And then next is uh, family. Yung iba naman kaya sila pumapasok into business because of their family. Maaari meron na silang family business na minana lang. Okay? And then six is the dissatisfaction with current work arrangements. So ma- yung iba kaya sila pumapasok into business dahil maaring sawa na na alipin sa isang private company. Empleyado lang. Hindi tumataas yung sweldo, di ba? Paulit-ulit sa ginagawa. So, maaari sila pumasok sa business dahil sa mga ganong dahilan. Okay? And then, next is community and social motivation. So, maaaring pumasok ka into business dahil gusto mong may offer yung gusto mong may offer yung produkto na kailangan ng society or ng community. Ah, pasok na lang ako into business. Total, kailangan nila ito. Ma- maaaring pagkakitaan ko to dahil kailangan to ng community. Kaya ka pumasok into business. Okay? So, yun po yung mga reasons bakit nga ba pumapasok into uh, business or bakit nga ba mas pinipili ng iba na maging entrepreneur. Okay? And that's it for today.